guys, I'm back. Um, and it's very, very late here at night. I don't want to even tell you what time it is, but I wanted to um, do a quick video with Eleanor. Um, and I'm actually um, going to be doing her box packing as well. I might do that on the next video. But a super quick chat, just a little bit about like, you know, why do people, you know, why do we sell dolls, you know, shortly after we get them? And, um, um, for me, like Eleanor is, um, like, you know, she, she's one, she's a doll that I just received over the summer. Um, it was actually shortly after the Rose doll show that I brought her home. Um, she's incredible. She's a full body silicone by Andrea Arcello. And, um, I absolutely love this baby. Um, she's, be she's beautiful. She really is. But, um, I, and I, but I just never bonded with her. Like, and I think it was part of it was the timing. Like she came right after Ella and I was just like, so, you know, all about Ella. <laughs> I think when, uh, my Mia, when she, when she came home. So, so basically I think, you know, similar to, um, you know, some of my other babies, you know, she got a little bit overshadowed, but she's a really, really sweet baby. She's been, um, I put out things, put out some feelers about her, um, on my Thanksgiving video and she's been adopted by a new mommy. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, I'm going to get her ready to, to go home. I think I'll go ahead and just do this all in one video. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, you know, wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, kind of why, I'm ending up selling her so quickly and it happened, the sale happened so fast and, and it kind of, you know, I wasn't prepared for that. So I really don't feel like I have had a chance to kind of adequately say goodbye to this little one, but, but boy, I'm going to miss her. She is really, really sweet. Um, you know, a, for me, a big a driver and a reason I'm selling her is because there's another silicone baby I have my eye on and, um, and she's at a higher price point. So so I really feel like the responsible thing to do is to, you know, let her, let, um, let another baby go and, um, really, you know, it's so I'm not just braiding my savings all the time <laughs> in buying these dolls. So, so that's really the thought process there, but, but Eleanor is awesome. You know, she is, you know, and I have, I, I, you know, she's a newborn size baby. So she and Mia were able to share clothing, but she's just a little chunk among, she's just absolutely perfect. She's one of only two Eleanors that were poured in, in more of a softer silicone. And, um, but yeah, I, I am expecting a few babies to come home. So I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to keep her in her sleeper, but I am going to take off her cloth diaper because I need that for my new silicone babies that are coming home. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of change her diaper which hopefully won't get like flagged by YouTube. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to change her into her, um, just more of a regular, a regular diaper here. So to send her home in, cause I do need this cloth diaper for new baby that's coming home. So yeah, anyway, I hope YouTube doesn't <laughs> give me any challenges with this. I'll try to keep her covered up while I change her. Um, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at this belly. <laughs> um, and after she, I got the payment for her, I had this like pit in my stomach, like, oh my gosh, what have I done? <laughs> I can't believe I'm letting this baby go. She's so cute. And I actually had somebody, um, email me asking me or message me asking me about Maggie, if I would ever consider selling her. And, um, and I, yeah, Ma Maggie is just really special. I, I, I was like, I was like, I'll think about it. Cause late, lately I've been just so busy at work. I just really haven't had as much time for my dolls. And so I, um, so it kind of made me feel like, you know, maybe I don't need to have quite so many. Um, but yeah, when I was trying to decide whether I should, you know, think about selling Eleanor, um, you know, I remember, um, messaging with Annie from Annie Bananas Nursery and she was saying like, you know, if you like for her, like if she, if the thought crosses her mind that, she, that, Oh, maybe I should sell this doll that she feels like she usually ends up selling it. And, um, and so I said, huh, okay, that's an interesting 
way to make that decision. So, so I kind of thought about it and I was like, yeah, you know, when I, when I got her, I like really, I really liked her, but I don't think I, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a feeling of like, okay, this is definitely going to be my, be a forever baby for me. So, um, so I think it's the right thing to do. And she's, she's so cute. She's going to come home in this, my first Christmas outfit. And given that it's almost December, um, she's going all the way to Spain. So I'm not sure how long that's going to take once you factor in customs, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick her up one last time. She's wonderful to hold. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Holding her right now, this makes it really hard, <laughs> really, really hard. Um, Oh my gosh, to let her go. I just can't imagine, I just can't believe I'm going to put her in a box. This is just, this is hard. Because I, I definitely was more bonded to her than to Noah or Millie, even though I had them for longer. But, but I just, I just feel like this is the responsible thing to do. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move her out of the picture for just a bit while I, um, while I kind of work on getting the box packed up. Oh, and you know what? While I am doing this, let me go ahead and just zoom out. And I probably should make sure. Yeah, I think yeah, you can see. You guys can still see the floor. Okay. Um, I just realized I did not get a chance to grab her blanket. So I might. Um, hmm. Okay. I might need to stop the video so I can hunt for, hunt for that. Oh, actually, you know what? I do see it. I see it. I see exactly where it is. So, okay, here we go. All right. So here, here's her blanket. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start off how, how I normally would pack her box. Um, so with some bubble wrap at the bottom. This is her, this is her envelope that she came with, with her COA. I'll go, go ahead and pull out the COA just so you guys can see it again. And Andrew has her care instructions and warranty, but here is her COA. Um, it's just eight pounds, four ounces, born in June, 2017. Okay, so she came in June and she's number six, Eleanor number six, so. Um, and, oh, and it's really, really cute because these photos are actually the pictures of her. So I, I love that. Really adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And then I'm going to put another bubble wrap over it. So, um... So, so the lady I'm working with, she's very, very nice. Um... She, she's in Spain and, um, you know, and different countries have different customs fees. Like she actually has to pay a 21, she told me a 21% customs fee, um, to bring, to bring the doll in, which is, which is, which is pretty nuts. That's, that's, that's definitely a challenge. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there and, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to send her home with. So she will come home with this really cute, um, this really cute onesie from Mayor All, and um, I'm going to send her with this adorable uh, Mia and Mimi dress from, that I, had, I got this from Target. It's absolutely gorgeous. And my babies don't really, like, I think I had one doll wear it once, but my babies really don't kind of get dressed up that much, but I think this is really cute pretty outfit to send her home with. And then this is the outfit that, um, it's by Matilda Jane that came with her from, from Andrea. So, so I'll, I'll go ahead and, um, oh no, it's not, it's not Matilda Jane. It's a uh, giggle moon. So kind of whimsical. So I'll go ahead and kind of wrap that up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fold these up into piles and then wrap them up. So, okay. And then, um, oh, and then she also comes with this, with this headband. 
And I don't think she had a pacifier. She does take a modified passy, I believe, but I never put one in her. Um, so, so anyway, okay. So let's go ahead and get her, um, get her things wrapped up. I'm going to go ahead and use some pink tissue paper. Um, I'll just go ahead and wrap this up. And I'm going to apologize because I'm realizing um, I wanted to send her home with a lovey, so I might go and grab one. Um, I might have to step away for a second and just grab one and, and run right back. But let me just wrap up the clothing first. Yeah, I still am. It still feels a little surreal to me that that she's going home. I, I, I can't believe it because. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with her and she's, she's really so brand new. Like I really didn't handle her much at all, but, um, but I think I was just feeling definitely a sense of like, okay, my, my collection's getting too big. <laughs> it's getting too, it's getting unmanageable and overwhelming. So I think it's the right thing to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, and I want to send her home with a lovey. That was the one thing one thing that I forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring Eleanor back into view so you guys can look at her <laughs> while I am gonna fetch that. And um, I'll be back in just like one minute. I'm back. <laughs> um, I guess I could have stopped the video and spliced it or something, but I got a little pink teddy bear. So sorry, I should have had that better, a little bit better prepared. So I'm just shifting her back. Oh my gosh. I'm dreading putting her in um, her bag. This is going to be so hard. Um... Or sorry, putting her in the box. Guys, I, I kid you not, it is like, it's so late right now. But, um, and I meant to do this video earlier, but I ended up talking to my hubby for a really long time. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't talk about it often, about being parents to special needs children. I have two kids on the autism spectrum. I don't talk about it a lot, but it's really hard sometimes. And so if you are so inclined um, to pray for us, you know, I, we would really be grateful for that. It's, it's just, it's, it's just really difficult sometimes. So yeah. Anyway, so a lot, lot to talk about. And I think, um, you know, I was think, reflecting on this a little bit because my cousin, you know, went through the loss of his daughter, you know, as a baby that, they, that his wife carried to full term. You know, she was 37 weeks when she had the baby and the baby didn't survive. Um, I was thinking about this a little bit because it's just, it's, it's so heart, it was so heartbreaking, you know, for, her to, for them to go through that. Um, you know, it, re it really was. And I, um, okay. Oh my gosh, this is so tough to do. I can't believe I'm doing this. I cannot believe she's going home or, or leaving the nursery. 
Okay. But anyway, when, when you're, um, when you're an autism parent, there's just a grieving process that happens and, or if you have special needs kids or it, it, it's, it's tough you guys. So anyway, so I'm a little more worn out now than usual, but oh. this is why I love the, um, the reborn hobby so much. I, it's kind of nice to have an escape. I just have something that Oh, now I'm sitting here going, am I doing the right thing, letting her go? Oh, this is hard. It's so hard to let her go. I just, I, I, I really haven't had her for very long, but, um, but yeah, but her new mommy is going to love her. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to put, I'm going to do the diaper head. <laughs> it is just to give her some protection. So Marta, if you're watching this, I'm Marta of Little Lake Babies. You know, she sold her Eleanor on and it's a very tough experience. Oh my gosh, this is this is so hard for me to do right now. This is tougher than any box packing I've done. I, I'm sitting here going, oh my gosh, I still love this baby. <laughs> um I really do. So but I, um, I know it's the right thing. She, I've, been, I've definitely enjoyed having her, but I, but yeah, but, it, but the bond wasn't really, kind of, it wasn't, wasn't like fully, fully there, you know? So, okay. So here's where I get, um, bubble wrap and bubble wrap this baby really well and then when I ship the doll um, I always ship with full insurance this is, this is tr challenging <laughs> um, you have to ship with full insurance because yeah like that's that's just really that's really critical um, Yeah, so, anyway. Oh, I'm feeling like this is kind of tough for me right now. <laughs> Watching her get wrapped up. It definitely feels very surreal that this is happening, I have to say. I think part of it is because it's, it's late at night, and um, I'm sitting here and I'm like exhausted and tired doing this box packing because um, tomorrow's a Saturday, at, at least at the time of me filming this. And so I want to make sure I can get this shipped out. Um, otherwise I have to wait till Monday. And I think the longer, you know, as I was like thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm going to pack her up. I was like holding her earlier today. And, and I was thinking, I think the longer I keep her, it's the worst it's going to get <laughs> in terms of making it hard to let go. So, so I think I, I should, I, so I basically said, you know, I should just really just, I should just do her box packing tonight, you know? It's kind of how I figure it. Sorry, I keep getting like hair caught in the tape <laughs> for some reason. Um, so, but yeah, her new mommy is going to love her. She is like, absolute perfection, this baby. It's just amazing. Um, I'm nervous about her traveling so far, like overseas. Um, and the um, and the lady from Singapore who adopted um, Hei Lian. Her name's Tammy. She um, she and I were messaging because Customs is holding her baby. So, and I feel like Customs is just it's just one of those things that's just like totally not in your control. You know, when you're 
when you're selling a doll, um, when you're buying a doll, it's, it's a little nerve wracking because it's just one of those things that really you just don't have any control over. So, okay. So, I'm trying to think. I don't remember which side. I think this is this. I think this is her back, if I recall. I'm actually not a hundred percent sure, um, but she's pretty well protected. Um, I'll go ahead and put her in. See here, she has a perfect fit. And I'm gonna put some of these the items of clothing kind of around her for protection. And I actually have a little card for the mommy as well. And so, so I'm gonna do some tissue paper. And I kind of wish there wasn't this gap here. I actually wish I had a little bit of a smaller box because Eleanor's newborn size, so you can see that she doesn't quite fill up the box. Um, not quite, so I did kind of wonder about that. like. Oh, and like, should I get, um, let me use some of this purple tissue paper. Yeah, so my, my, so it was so late at night and I was like talking to my husband and I was like, okay, I need to sign, I need to like go do this box packing. <laughs> um, yeah, I was like, I need to do, I, I need to do this, I need to do this box packing and He's like, oh, do you have to do a video? <laughs> um, can't you just pack up the box and not do a video? And I was like, well, I really can't because, first of all, the new mommies usually always ask me if I'm going to do a box packing and they want to see it. And um, and I get it. I would want to see the box packing too if I were in their shoes. And so, so that's the first thing. But second thing... You know, if there's any kind of a dispute about the condition the doll was in when you packed it and stuff like that, at least you have it on video. So I'm I'm gonna I'm putting in like extra tissue paper just to try to fill up some of the the space here, and I'm gonna put um, some bu more bubble wrap too here at the top um, to really give it some more um, protection. So. I'm just going to do like one more tissue paper. Okay. Cool. Okay, great. So, yeah, I'll do a few sheets here because. this feeling of sadness, but I think I have to go hug one of my other babies now. <laughs> um, okay, great. Okay, I'm feeling good that that's pretty secure now. So, all right. I think that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry I'm a little low energy right now, but it's been a long day and uh, yeah, and uh, it's, it's pretty late at night right now. So, have a wonderful day. I will talk to you soon and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.